Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to my talk about first semester anomaly scanning. We all know that first semester screening for chromosomal defects provide good detection rates for trisomy 21 and other chromosomal abnormalities with detection rates of more than 90% and a false positive rate of about 3 to 5%. At the same time, the first semester scan can be used to detect major anomalies as early as at 11 to 13 weeks. And the Eastwork Society has set standards of how this ultrasound examination should be carried out. And you can see a list of structures that should be displayed at this early gestation. It starts from the head to the neck, to the face, the spine, chest, the heart, the abdomen, the extremities, and the placenta. In this video, it's nicely shown that within a very short period, you can identify the major structural abnormalities you can see both diaphragms here, you can see the upper extremities, the hands, and if we move a bit further, then you see the head with two halves, the face, the chest, the abdomen, the bladder, and legs. And there are lots of papers that focus on detection rates of um, the first semester anomaly scan. And here's a meta-analysis, including about 80,000 pregnancies and 1,000 fetuses with major defects. And the detection rates, the overall detection rate and the detection rate for cardiac defects was about 50%. Obviously, it depends on the um, structural defect you focus on. You can actually identify all cases of um, unencaph unencaphaly of holoprosencephaly, ectopia cordis, encephalocele, abdominal wall defects, and megacystis, but other defects cannot be identified, such as bowel obstruction or cystic kidney disease. And the, the larger study comes from Professor Nicolaitis, um, and they look to the outcome of one, more than 100,000 first semester anomaly scans. In this group, there were 1,720 major anomalies. And with the first semester scan, they were able to detect 28% um, of all structural defects as early as 11 to 30 weeks. In the second trimester, the authors identified 54% of the major defects. In the third trimester, another 14%. And after birth, there were um, a bit less than 5% of major defects. So with other words, during the course of the pregnancy, the authors identified 95% of all major defects and about a third in the first semester. And obviously the nuclear transition thickness at 11 to 13 weeks is an important hint toward, towards not only um, chromosomal defects, but also structural defects. If the nucleus increased, as in this case, have a very detailed look to the fetus and check whether there's car there are cardiac defects or the other structural defects and I'd like to show you three cases now where we found major defects at 11 to 13 weeks. Start with this case here, and you can see the chest, and you can see a um, cystic um, structure behind the heart, which is the stomach, and the stomach behind the heart is always suspicious for a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. It's nicely seen here again. There's the heart, and there's the stomach. In my second case here, you can see the fetus, a one fetus here, which looks normal. And behind that fetus, there's an additional, additional structure, which is also a um, fetus or a twin pregnancy, but this one is not developed properly, has no heart, it has no um, um, head. This is a twin reversed arterial perfusion syndrome. And this baby has been. Um, um, blood supply comes from the normal baby, and you can see here the umbilical artery of that um, trap, and there's a reverse perfusion with um, less oxygenated blood, which is most probably the reason for the um, structural defect, uh, for the um, difficult development. And the third case is here. It's an upper limb reduction defect. Have a look to this video. You can see one hand on one side. If you want to identify the other hand, it's difficult because there's no other hand. If we look to pictures about the defect, here's the humerus. Here's the forearm with a very small radius and humerus. 
uh, radius and um, ulna and the hands not properly this, um, there. So I hope you liked my little video and I hope you enjoy the conquest. Thank you.